I've worked with like really young artists and producers who has, who've got so much focus and direction. It's incredible. And you can have that. You can have that when you're 16, 17, 18. And you can not have that if you're 30, 40, you know, 50. Nothing to do with, it's nothing to do with age, any of it. But I didn't really have it. I needed to like get a bit older and have more experience because to have the patience to work with an artist and like listen to them and really understand them and then help them be them. Often you need a bit of help to get to that. I am a musician, but I'm not a very good musician. I like working with very good musicians. When you've got someone in the room who's got a sort of simpler approach, that's got a value in the studio. So No One Knows Me Like The Piano by Sanfa. Something to do with the fact that like the opening lyric of Sanfa's song where he says, no one knows me like the piano in my mother's home. It's told me that I have something some people call a soul. It made me think of Curtis Mayfield from the Curtis Mayfield song, The Makings of You. The makings of you. These words I try to recite, they're close but not quiet. These words I've tried. There's something so meaningful and expressive about that. They are close, but not quite. Makings of You by Curtis Mayfield to me is one of the greatest songs of all time. I didn't want to like mess with it much. Of these words so I, I played the pattern on the MPC, the kick and snare. But I realised afterwards it's very similar to the Soul to Soul Keep On Moving. That in itself was referencing something. But the Bismarck Key drums are themselves from a Graham Central Station. The chain is endless. I'm into that. I'm into those threads. I collect samples. I've always collected samples and sounds. I record stuff on my phone. I did these spoons. It's like a pair of spoons sampled through the collider loop, which has got a sort of distortion. It adds a bit of a crust to something. So that, that sounds old. I put breaths on it and I put sandpaper on it. I also did a session with a musician called Beluji, who is like a master sitarist and percussionist. We tried sitar, which didn't work on this. We did use some of his percussion. He's playing a bell, he's playing something called a, a gnarl drum. We did a pass of live claps. Small, subtle touches. Too much of that, it would have been too pronounced. The next step was really, it was, was to ask Sanfa if he wanted to hear it. Because that, even that's not a given with anyone. And he was up, he was up for coming around and hearing it. He was into it. We put a bit of piano down and MS20 bass, so like analog, live analog bass. I play bass sometimes, but sometimes it's good when someone who can really play bass plays bass. And uh, Sanfa, he's very, very good. He got on the mic and he basically freestyled for like, I think 16 minutes. So this is this is the kind of stream of consciousness. And there's a fire under the hood, but I'm overlooking this view when I see you. This became like the pre-chorus. Now. now I'm in his path. If you have that level of talent that he has, which I think is like the top level, normally you want to be the centre of attention. And that's understandable. And he doesn't, he's, he doesn't really, but he has a huge amount of natural humility, which coupled with the immense talent makes him a treasure really. I got a serious illness in 2013 called Guillain-Barre syndrome and I, was, I had full body paralysis. I couldn't move anything when I was in hospital. This turned up in the hospital as a gift from Jeff Barrow, he's the guy from Portishead. When I first started to get a bit of movement back in my hands, this is what I started playing with. And the physio looked at it, was looking at it, 
and said, oh yeah, we were going to give you something to start exercising your fingers with, but this is better. This like, you couldn't really have something better than that to use. This was part of like recovering and getting movement back in my hands. So it does have quite a, you know, that, that means a lot to me. Then we did backing vocals. It's Beach Boys level, really. So more piano on the chorus. It's about feeling. It's all got a lot of feeling. I thought, if I sample that Curtis Mayfield line and Sam performs on that, that would be something. Speak. I could have been wrong about that, and of course that, the, the theory is only a theory, but it was definitely like, that's the theory, so now I'm gonna try and do that. Now I'm in his part. And it worked. Of these words I've tried it's a massive sample. They are close, but not quite. So when we got to the end, I thought I'd just let it run. Almost impossible to do, reciting the makings of you. I feel like that's like the most respectful thing you can do in a way. This is like a direct tribute to Curtis Mayfield because we used the sample, but I thought this is like making it as kind of specific as possible in a way that I think might make people think, oh, maybe I should listen to Curtis Mayfield. Honeysuckling, a great big expression of happiness. Boy. 